on today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, the Mighty Thor action figure. And here's the figure straight out of the box without any crazy poses or accessories. Uh, my first impressions, uh, I think, you know, as usual, the sculpting and paint applications will look really nice on this figure, given that this is a Diamond Select figure. But um, I can already see that some of the articulation is going to be missing in certain areas but you know that's okay and accessory wise this figure also has a lot to give so well let's get right into the accessories and here you can see all the accessory that this figure comes with as you can see for a thor action figure he does come with a few he does come with an alternative head sculpt which is an unhelmeted uh head sculpt which i don't really like i always like my thor wearing a, the usual you know viking helmet with the wings on the side it does have some kind of like a blackish wa wash to it it looks like you know it's like a dirty blonde or something it's a, it's an okay head skull but you know if you, if you like your thor unhelmeted then yeah i i prefer it to be helmeted and you can almost peel it off it looks it's very pliable like, like almost rubber like or something very nice, let's just put this here for now. He also comes with his hammer, Mjolnir, which is slightly bent as you can see, but you can always just fix that using hot water. It's a nice modern look, you know, it doesn't have like an old school style. This part here is much smaller and it's brown, like the hilt of the hammer actually kind of fits, you know, through the, uh, <clears throat> the head of the hammer. I much prefer this kind of more modern look. It does have the, uh, I don't know what to call this really. You can't hang it onto the figure anywhere, but you could maybe uh, put it in his hand like so or something like that. Um, actually, let me just show you. This is the, just the default hand. And if you wanted to, you could, I guess, yeah, just kind of put it like this and he's like kind of ready to throw it or something. Or you can always just um, Put it in his hand like so when it's very snug it's not going to fall out or anything like that yeah very nice let's just take it out for now let's put it here and he does come with an alternative right hand i'll show you in a minute he comes with a display stand which is pretty nice because normally diamond select figures don't come with a display stand maybe they come with like a diorama slash display stand this is just a straight up two peg display stand because this accessory this is really unique i mean i think the new marvel legends ragnarok thor came with this as well but you no know, it's not a wheel of mjolnirs it's you know it sort of illustrates how he's holding the hammer and it kind of like his spinning it around and ready to throw it and this is what this hand is for specifically you can see the this the strap that's that's the word the strap of Mjolnir around his hand and you just push it here you switch the hands and you just you know as I've shown you in the intro you can switch the hands to make it seem like he's charging the hammer um, ready to throw it and <clears throat> This display stand is very good because when you put this whole accessory on him, it's going to make him really heavy on one side. It's really hard to balance him out, so that's where the stand really helps. Um, that's all. Let's get into the details of the figure. Moving on to the details part, let's get a closer look. <clears throat> Actually, just standing there, he looks like a really menacing Thor. I like how gritty and kind of modern and more dark this figure looks. It's my Thor version. I also like how there's no, it doesn't have any sleeves, you know, it doesn't have like the chainmail celery part like, like the leg armor here. He usually has that all the way around his arms, but now you can just see all the muscle pattern and the muscle detail, which is very nice. But look, let's take a look at this head. This is the helmeted head. And the helmet is very nice. I would have liked it to be a bit more silverish because I mean, on camera it does look kind of shiny, but IRL it's much more just a damp, dark gray looking helmet, actually. Well, not super dark, but it's not like... I, I, I wanted it to be a bit more silver or shiny, but whatever, you can always... Just, and also one thing, I don't like when Thor is clean-shaved. 
he is a Viking Norse god, you know, I, I prefer if he has some beard on his face. And I was thinking, actually, maybe you could, if you don't want this head, you could maybe cut off the hair, like this end piece, and kind of cut it off, and you can use it as a really big beard. I might try that out, actually, because I really like Thor when he has an actual beard. Or maybe if you want, you can just, if you want to give him like a five o'clock shadow, not a full beard, you can always do that with some, you know, kind of similar uh, colored um, alcoholic pan or paints than, than the hair. And the hair does look to be almost a different color, see? It's even more dirtier on this one, even though you can't really see the hair. But it's, it's almost more dark. And there's a kind of... Why is it shiny here? Hmm. There's this sort of like a cloth piece hanging from the helmet. Which, you know, he doesn't actually... You can't see any hair back here. Uh, his cape is so nice. It's sculpted very nicely. It does get out of the way, as you can see. You can just... Oh, there's actually... These pieces on the back as well, I didn't see that. It's very nice, it's pretty big and chunky, like a you know, usual Thor cape. I might switch this to a soft goods one because I mean, I do like the color, I like it that it's not super vibrant red but kind of crimson looking. So it's, it's a very nice looking one. You can see the kind of Thor like cape that doesn't go super nicely draping over his arms, it's more like it has like a curve to it. That's very Thor like as well. So, you know, very, uh, very accurate to the source material. He has gigantic muscles, as he should. That big chest and everything. I like these dicks. <coughs> discs as well, sorry. Um, is this supposed to be a T for Thor? Or is it also, you know, Mjolnir symbol? He does have this kind of cloth piece as well. Uh, he seemed to have kind of metal van braces, spiky metal van braces or gauntlets or you no, know, it is actually bracelets. That's the word. And his he doesn't have any alternative left hands. It's just a fisted hand, and he does have a horizontal injured that We'll get into that in the articulation. It's very nice. It fits the uh, overall outfit. Very nice. I like the leg armor that he has. Sort of almost chain mail ish, but no, not so. maybe like scale armor. It does look a bit like old scale mail armor, you know, Vikings used to have scale mail, I think. Thor-like boots as well, like, you know, how do you come into this shape, very Thor-ish. Nice, but, you know, the paint applications are very nice, and the, the, the sculpt as well. Again, Diamond Slug did a very nice job overall. Okay, now, let's get into the articulation. Moving on to the articulation, starting from top to bottom, starting with the head. He can look up this much. This cloth piece does hinder it a bit. He can look down this much, which is very nice. He can look down the puny little mortals. Uh, tilt side to side, not too bad. He, he cannot do an exorcist. He cannot rotate his head fully because of everything, you know, the cape and the cloth the piece of the helmet. <clears throat> it's, it's okay for a Thor figure. Ab articulation. He has, he can, you can sort of rotate it around, but not so much. Actually, he does have a swivel right there as well, it seems like, but it's really... So you could swivel all the way around, I believe. Let's just say that. It's really, really tough. His arms are on a hinge. Um, I'm just, it's gonna... Okay. Can he do a full T-pose? Yeah. Uh, almost, basically. If he force it a bit, yeah, he could. Um... You can't really horizontally rotate it because of the cape. Again, he does have a upper bicep swivel, single jointed, uh, and it doesn't go past 90. It's just like 85 degrees or so, which this is where it's kind of lacking articulation. Swivel on the hand, horizontal hinge <sighs> goes about this much and out this much. Um, and the right hand, which holds. Um, just a normal meal near does have a vertical hinge, which is very nice. Goes up this much and goes down this much. It's pretty good. I also forgot to mention the this hand does not have it just rotates around, doesn't have a, a hinge on it, it's just a swivel. 
Okay, the legs are on a hinge, I believe, and they can kick out. Oh no, it's it's a well, it, it is a hinge, but it's sort of weird. They don't go out too much. I think this is as far it can go. I'm trying to, yeah, I might break it actually. I think this is as far as it will go. There is a swivel here. Oh my god. You can kick forward this much, which is not too bad. Kick back basically nothing. Yeah, you cannot move back at all. And double jointed knees. He can move it this much. Okay. Hinge on the ankle. Go back this much. Go forward this much. And then rock side to side. Okay, he doesn't really have too much trouble standing, but the cape does give him a bit of a back weight, so. Alright, now let's get into the size and comparisons. Size-wise, this Thor figure is standing at approximately 20 centimeters to the top of the uh, wings of the helmet, which translates to 7.8 inches in height. For comparisons, here we have a 6 inch scale on the left, this one being the Marvel Legends uh, Endgame Thor, and on the right it's another 7 inch scale figure, this one being the McFarlane Toys Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt of Rivia. And even for a 7 inch scale figure, this Thor figure, the mighty Thor on the, in, the, you know, in the center, is much taller than even a 7 inch scale figure, he almost feels like an 8 inch figure, but if you pose them next to 7 inch scale figures, this one fits perfectly because Thor is supposed to be quite tall. Even uh, posing with maybe 6 inch scale figures, it could work given his massive size. And here he is, standing next to Cat of Coca-Cola. And my final thoughts on this figure. Um, I really like it. Sculpting, pin applications, again, quite nice. Accessory-wise, I think you know, maybe uh, an extra head with a beard would have been nice. But again, you know, if this is true to the source material, the Mighty Thor comic, you know, if he didn't have a beard, of course, they wouldn't really include a bearded head sculpt. But I'm just a really big fan of Thor with a beard, so that's just me. But something that maybe he still could have come with, maybe some lightning effects that you could put onto his arm or his hammer. Maybe that would have been nice, but this um, spinning Mjolnir accessory is something that is really rare with Thor figures and is a really nice addition and really nice idea. Uh, other than that, um, very nice, but it does lack some articulation here and there, especially on the arms. You know, single jointed arm will not go even 90 degrees, not like Thor doesn't need it, and then he does have really big muscles, so it would have been hard to do better articulation there um but yeah for the price and everything this is a really good thor figure you can put him in a six in scale line as well um if you don't mind him being a lot bigger than everyone else but he is a god so i think it fits quite well uh that was my review of the diamond select marvel select mighty thor action figure if you like the video, consider leaving a like or a dislike, uh, depending on if you like it or not. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts on the review or the figure. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested. It was me, the collector, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.